Hello guys, here I will show you how to create a calendar that you can create every year where you can make the dates change its color automatically based on input that you put in event date tables. You can start by creating a table for January, the first month of each year. After you create a table, you have to put the 1st of January in correct day. And then you can start to increase the dates by using the basic addition formula. The formula is applied to the first four rows. While for the remaining two rows, you have to put a formula that will check the condition of the last date of January. And after you finish with the date, you can now change the date format to only show the date's values only. And before creating the remaining 11 months, you can start to personalize this first month to meet your own style. Here. Now that you have finished personalizing this January table, you can start creating the February table by duplicating the January table. You can repeat the same steps to create the dates for table of February as well as March. And repeat the steps until all 12 months tables are completed. Basically, your calendar is ready now. If you don't have any intention to add extra events, you can start preparing this calendar to be printed. And now, to add a dynamic date marker, you have to create a table first. The first table I created here is a fixed event tables. Here, you must select the date column and define a name for this range. Now, uh, select all dates in the calendar and then open the conditional formatting menu. We will try to create a formula to change date color if the criteria is met. Here, I'm using the match function where the logic is if the dates is the same with the date in the range that you specified before, 
then the color will be changed based of the color that you set in this menu. After you finish with the first formula of the conditional formatting, you can repeat the same step for creating the second conditional formatting formula. Now I will show you how to create conditional formatting formula for consecutive dates. And different from fixed date table, here you have to define a name for each cells with dates. As you can see here, you select the cell and define a name. You have to do this for all those 10 cells. After finish defining the last cells, you can start to create the conditional formatting formula for the first row of the consecutive dates event table. You have to be careful on creating the formula in the conditional formatting formula bar. And for this formula, the dates will change based of five condition. So you must use the end function. So it will combine if any of those criteria are not met, the dates color won't change. You can see the result, and now we can continue to creating form conditional formatting formula for the remaining four rows. Because I'm not comfortable to write the formula directly in the Conditional, the conditional formatting formula bar so I try to copy and pass in some unused cell here and duplicate all the formula to cover all the dates in the consecutive dates table you can see and follow the steps that I use here and don't forget to put the OR function in front of this formula once you complete it on changing the name range you can copy and paste the formula back to the conditional conditional formatting formula bar.
Your calendar is finished. You can start styling your calendar to meet your own style. And after that, you can prepare your calendar to be printed. Okay, that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.